Hello, John. You're involved in the Westport Historical Society. Yes, I'm presently chairman of the Historical Society in Westport. And basically the Historical Society uh, was founded back 30 years ago as a result of a number of lectures that were given in Westport by the old Mayo BEC. And uh, it, it, as a result of that, a number of the members or the audience, we decided to, to found this historical society that will continue on giving lectures and research in the history of Westport and of course the whole sound in West Mayo area. Uh, these days where there were these people, uh, Peter Flanagan, no longer with us sadly, he had more history in his little finger than some of them ever know. Uh, George O'Connor was very good on Westport. Uh, Gerald Duffy, uh, who was the first chairman, he was very good on the history of Hagawar uh, and uh, all that area. Yeah, it's, uh, Johnny Malloy and his wife, Mrs. Sheila Malloy. Uh, also, uh, they had anything to do with Westport, the key, and the publishing of books, etc. Uh, there was they were a great source of knowledge and support. And we kept on, then about 20 years ago, uh, the building became vacant at the quay, and <coughs> we acquired it, and uh, we were being offered various artefacts. And again, uh, grants were got to the government from, from uh, under the Iban scheme, I think it was at the time. And uh, uh, it is developed and staffed to right even to the, down to the present. And hopefully we will modernise it and extend it in the near future. Uh, it is packed with various artefacts from the history of Westport, all the weapons that were used in the War of Independence, uh, objects that were washed up from the sea, uh, objects that were got in archaeological digs, and of course the, the uh, it also publishes the journal, the Kahanamath journal, which is published annually. Um, anybody from Westport today is a great tourist attraction and it is going successful, given I think a successful service to the community. Anybody is welcome to call to, see, call to it at any time. Thank you. You have a list of everybody, of all the graveyards and this kind of stuff down there, is it? Database. Yes, we have, we, have, um, we have an index to the graveyards and to the index to the births and baptisms in the Westport parishes in the Westport area and uh, from other sources as well. And we have access to, uh, to sources in the, in the registry of, of births, marriages and deaths. Now, the, uh, from uh, people doing genealogical research, it is very useful and there's great demand for the, these services. We have a great collection of school things like school road books uh, from a lot of the schools in the area. Uh, we have all, of course, the Griffiths valuation lists. We had access to uh, the Sligo estate papers, not Altamont. Uh, allowed us to uh, index, uh, to copy them, so that we can know who was tenants or in, 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 you, you name any particular piece of land, and if we, we could research it and know who had been working there or living there, going back for until nearly 1600s, if you want to go to that kind of topic. 